This is Adi Sharma solution class 12th chapter 12 higher order derivatives exercise is 12.1 now we have here x equals cos theta y equals sin cube theta so there is an equation which uh, we have to prove so we'll find out uh, dy by dx and d2 by dx2 y is already there with us so those who want to do by themselves this is a step by step uh, reference and those who want to understand x is equal to cos theta dx by d theta will be what it will be cos theta will be minus sin theta negative sin theta what is y y is sin cube theta Theta. So this is this will be dy by d theta 3 sin square theta and sin theta will be cos theta differentiation. We need dy by dx. How do you get it dy by dx? So we have to divide this dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. So sin sin you can cancel you get minus 3 sin theta cos theta. Now double differentiation has to be done d2y by dx2 you can call it as y dash or y, y1 also. So d2y by dx2 minus 3 you will deal it with later so this is sin theta cos theta is minus sin theta and cos theta here sin theta will be cos theta now there is one thing left i'll just tell you uh, in a while so we have minus sin square theta plus cos square theta and you already have a negative 3 in front so let's multiply negative 3 inside so this will give you 3 sin square theta minus 3 cos square theta so d2y by dx2 when we did we also want d theta by dx because we are differentiating with respect to x and there is no theta there is no x on the right hand side the side it is actually theta so d theta by dx is basically minus uh, sin theta in the reciprocal form because minus sin theta is dx by d theta we need the theta by dx so you can divide the whole content by minus sin theta you have a y here so you have y is sin cube theta then we have d2y by dx2 so this is going to be 3 sin square theta minus 3 cos square theta divided by minus sin theta next one is dy by dx whole square so dy by dx already found it's negative 3 sin theta cos theta just square it so it is going to be minus 3 minus 3 is 9 uh, so sin square theta cos square theta so we can cancel one sign from here so sine and sine get cancelled only sine square theta will remain in the numerator all right so we see that we have a negative in the denominator so i've just changed the sign in the numerator sine square theta here also we have three here so if you take three three sine square theta from both the terms i'm taking three sine square theta from both the terms what do you get because we want side three sine square theta that's why i did it minus minus sine square theta will remain inside plus cos square theta because three is already been taken and three is a nine so only three will remain three sine square theta cos square theta now what do you see here it is sine square theta is already been taken so i have to cancel it out this is already been taken so we don't need it anymore it's already in the front so we have cos square theta plus three cos square theta and that will give you four cos square theta four cos square theta okay so this is uh, 4 cos square theta because cos square theta plus 3 cos square theta is 4 cos square theta. 4 cos square theta minus sin square theta will have. And in the front, we have 3 sin square theta. 3 sin square theta here. Now we have got 3 sin square theta. We have cos square theta, but there is no sin square theta on the right hand side. So sin square theta has to be converted to cos square theta. And we know that there is an identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So in place of sin square theta, we can always write 1 minus cos square theta. So we have few. I'm writing just C for cos square theta. So 4 cos square theta minus 1 minus cos square theta. So 4 cos square theta plus cos square theta is 5 cos square theta minus 1. This is 3 sin square theta. 3 sin square theta. This is going to be 5 cos square theta minus 1. This is the answer on the right hand side. This is the right hand side you got. Okay. Next one is y equals uh, sin sin x. We have to prove that d2y by dx2 plus tan x dy by dx plus y cos square x equals 0. Y is sin sin x. For those who want to do by themselves i am just giving you a reference but those who want to understand let's go ahead is simply consider it as sine theta so dy by dx we have to find out there is no parametric form so we can just go ahead sine sine theta is cos sine theta cos sine x actually actually it is now we have to differentiate sine x also that will be cos x so this is dy by dx now d2y by dx2 we have to find out this is the first term this is the second term so you have cos sine x cos sine x cos x differentiation will be minus sine x or negative sine x then plus cos x will be here cos sine x is minus sin sin x and then we have i'll just uh, put the negative sign and then cos x because sin x differentiation is cos x so we have minus sin x and cos sin x please remember cos the sin x is inside of cos it's like a theta cos sin x here what do you get so we have the cos cos so it is going to be cos square and sin sin x as i said that I'll, i'm going to put negative in just a while because the cos x differentiation is negative sin x so we have here cos square x and then we have sin sin x with a negative sign okay so 
now just see what is being asked what needs to be proven the proving thing will dictate what we intend to change here or replace here so as i said this negative sign i um, i just uh, placed in between these two terms so we have both the terms as negative here d2y by dx2 so y is sin sin x so wherever you get sin sin x replace it by y you already have a cos square x in front of it so cos square x here y into cos square x here what do you see here dy by dx is cos x into cos sin x you don't have a cos x here so let us divide and multiply this term with cos x so that we get cos x into cos sin x so we have minus sin x cos sin x so this cos x numerator cos x denominator because we have introduced it so we have to multiply in numerator and denominator so this will be dy by dx and this sin x by cos x will be 10x so it will be negative 10x and dy by dx minus y cos square x it will be this is d2y by dx2 now bring everything on the left so that it makes a complete equation with a zero on the right hand side so when it comes on the left hand side it will be dy by dx with a tan x here also you have y y cos square x equals zero so same same equation so the only thing here is to consider is how to get this tan x so you have to multiply and, and divide it by cos x this term which i am highlighting right now that is how we get a tan x here x is equal to sin t y is equal to sin pt so this has to be proven which you see on the right hand side equals zero so pre to begin with we are not aware how we going to proceed so the procedure is simple whatever you want to do you have to do dx by dt dy by dt you have to find out dy by dx then you have to find out d2y by dx so that is the whole procedure you have to see and meanwhile in the course of this solution you will see the result will come x is equal to sin t dx by dt is going to be sin t is cos t y is sin pt p is a constant here so dy by dt will be equal to sin pt will be cos pt and differentiation of pt as i said p is constant we are differentiating with respect to t so it will be only p outside now dy by dx so dy by dx will be dy by dt divided by dx by dt dy by dx will be equal to you have to divide this so i'm just dividing it here only so p cos pt divided by cos t will come dy by dx so dy by dx is uh, achieved now this next process is to differentiate it twice so that we get d2y by dx2 d2y by dx2 is going to be so we have we will do it using the question rule you can adopt any rule any rule you want so denominator will be cos square t so we have cos t here cos cos pt cos pt is minus sin pt and differentiation of pt will be p this first p was already there second p has come after the differentiation of cos pt now second thing what we have to do because we have just differentiated cos pt so cos pt will remain like this and differentiation of the second part which is the cos t will do and p is already there outside that is p is with both the terms in the numerator so cos pt will remain like this cos t the cos t differentiation will be minus sin t and since, since it is minus i am making the sign as plus you can write it as sin t so d2y by dx2 it is in terms of t we have differentiated there is only t on the right hand side so you have to introduce dt by dx also so dx by dt is cos t but we have introduced dt by dx so we have to uh, uh, take the reciprocal of it and in the denominator so cos t introduce so cos cube t will be in the denominator let us uh, write this p into pp square cos t minus sin pt here we get plus p cos pt into sin t so cos cube t i am dividing it for the both the terms taking in the denominator so we have this okay now see the term y is sin pt so wherever you see sin pt replace it by y one con cancellation of cos t will happen cos t can be cancelled with cos cube t so sin pt by cos cos square t sin pt is y so you get minus p square y divided by cos square t i am having a i on the solution uh, the final solution also that's why i'm doing all this because you cannot just replace anything by anything you have to see the that it must lead to a result also now here we have x as sin t so in place of sin t in the second term replaced by x so p cos pt by cos pt this whole term p cos pt by by cos t if i take uh, cos cube t as cos t into cos square t p cos pt by cos t is nothing but dy by dx so just write dy by dx x was already there as i said x i replaced it for sin t p cos pt by cos t is dy by dx then we have the cos square t in the denominator as in as in the first part first term basically 
So you have cos square t in the denominator. Now we have d2y by dx2. So cos square t, cos square t, you have to take on the left hand side. But we cannot have t. We have to get rid of t. So cos square t is what? Sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. So cos square theta will be 1 minus sin square theta. What is uh, sin, sin t here? Cos square t is 1 minus sin square t. So 1 minus uh, sin square t. Sin square t, sin t is nothing but x. So it is 1 minus x square essentially. So cos square th theta is or x is 1 minus x square. d2y by dx2 here. It is already there. Minus p is square y. So let us take it on the left. So it will be plus p square y. Then we have uh, have we have x dy by dx because cos square t denominator is already being taken on the left hand side. Cross multiplication. So this is the whole equation which we wanted to be proved. So what is x? What is y? Because this is a parametric form. First we have to do it parametrically and then we have to go to the final solution. Next one is y equals sine inverse x whole square we have to prove this see there is no p square so there the solution i'll just show you because this is p square y so uh, there is slight change in the solution which i'll just show you so y is equal to sine inverse x whole square and there will be a root so this is the actual solution d2y by dx2 1 minus x square minus x into dy by dx minus 2 equals 0 has to be proven all right this the what you have to prove is somewhat uh, not there so dy by dx we generally write as y dash or y1 d2y by dx2 we generally write it as y double dash and y2 all right so whenever we write y dash or y prime it is dy by dx y double prime is d2y by dx and we have to prove this which i showed you in this solution not this this term is uh, of the previous question which is replicated here so there is a slight mistake here i'm going to correct it just now so dy by dx you have sine inverse x to the power 2 it has to be treated just like x to the power n so it will be 2 2 sine inverse x to the power 2 minus 1 that is going to be 1 so you have 2 sine inverse x now you have to differentiate sine inverse x also it is 1 by under root 1 minus x square you get 2 sine inverse x divided by under root 1 minus x square 2 sine inverse x divided by under root 1 minus x square this is your dy by dx now next thing is d2y by dx so uh, you you can use a product rule or question rule which you want but i'll do it what 2 will i'll i'm going to take it later sine inverse x 1 by under root 1 minus x square so the first term second term product rule we will apply sine inverse x this 1 by under root 1 minus x square differentiation will be 1 by under root 1 minus x square it is nothing but 1 by 1 minus x square to the power 2 1 minus x square to the power half when it goes up it will be 1 minus x square to the power minus half when we differentiate it it is going to be minus half 1 minus x square to the power minus 1 minus half minus 1 that is going to be minus 3 by 2 minus half minus 1 if you add it is going to be negative 3 by 2 and then differentiation of 1 minus x square will be minus 2x so this is the final result so minus minus i'm cancelling 2 to i'm cancelling it is going to be x in the numerator denominator uh, if you take this 1 minus x square to the power minus 2 3 by 2 in the denominator so x i'm taking this 1 minus x square to the power minus 3 by 2 in the denominator it is going to be 1 minus x square to the power 3 by 2 so this is the result of differentiation of 1 by under root 1 minus x square so just uh, let us replace it like this. x by 1 minus x square to the power 3 by 2 so it is going to be 3 by 2 plus now 1 by under root 1 minus x square already done now differentiation of sine inverse x that is already known to us 1 by under root 1 minus x square under root x into under root x is what it is x root root gets cancelled because the power gets half plus half is 1 so let us multiply this it will be only 1 minus x square this term sine inverse x x is in the numerator 1 minus x square to the power 3 by 2 is nothing but what 1 plus 1 by 2 so you can write it as 1 minus x square into 1 minus x square to the power half half so this half is uh, root only 1 minus x square root this is 1 minus x square so you can write 1 minus x square to the power 3 by 2 is 1 minus x square into under root 1 minus x square since this 1 minus x square is uh, there with both the term as i said 2 i will take it later so i i have to introduce 2 here 2 into uh, both the terms so this is d2y by dx2 which is y2 which is y double prime this 1 minus x square take it take this and bring it to the left hand side so it is going to be 1 minus x square into d2y by dx2 now this uh, see the solution this has come or uh, first part let us take the second part 2x sine inverse x divided this uh, divided by under root 1 minus x square we have already done dy by dx so dy by dx is what 2 sine inverse x divided by under root 1 minus x square so 2 sine 1 inverse x divided by under root 1 minus x square is nothing but dy by dx so this this term this term these three terms is dy by dx there's x here and other term we can replace it by dy by dx you can write it as y1 plus 2 1 minus x square 
y2 y2. so i'm taking everything on the left hand side so that we have a zero on the right hand side so one minus x square d2y by dx2 this goes here so it will be negative x into dy by dx i'm replacing y2 by now d2y by d2 by dx2 y1 as dy by dx minus 2 equals zero so there is a slight mistake you just uh, ignore it and the solution which uh, is coming here hence uh, above the hence proved is what we have actually proved so whether you solve in any way this equation is going to come there is no replacement or trick y equals e tan inverse x now let me tell you that when you attempt this kind of question you have to be well well versed with the differentiation result if you don't know the this uh, differentiation properly you have can head back just revise it and then come back here again y1 y2 you already know y1 is dy by dx y2 is d2 y by dx2 so we have y equals e tan inverse x this is a kind of a simple question you can just Go ahead with the next question but those who want to understand let us do it y equals e tan inverse x divided by dx is e tan inverse x or because e to the power anything will be e to the power that thing only now tan inverse differentiation is 1 by under 1 by 1 plus x square so this is your y1 this is y2 d2 by dx2 we are going to do now so this first term i'm going to apply the product rule here e tan inverse x differentiation of 1 by 1 plus x square let us do it here 1 by 1 plus x square i am taking it in the numerator which will be 1 plus x square to the power minus 1 so it will be minus 1 1 plus x square to the power minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 2 and differentiation of 1 plus x square will be 2x so we have 2 minus 2x divided by 1 plus x square whole square so this is going to be negative 2x divided by 1 plus x square whole square so this we have done just 1 by 1, 1 plus x square 1 by 1 plus x square now differentiation of e to the power 10 inverse x will be e to the power 10 inverse x means already done y equals e tan inverse x differentiation is already done so you can just replace the result y1 directly here e tan inverse x into 1 by 1 plus x square so you have in the denominator 1 plus x square whole square in both the terms but what we will do is we'll see that what where we can replace place it by y1 that is dy by d we also y have a y as e, e raised tan inverse x all right this whole is y y1 as we have just seen dy by dx is this term here also this whole if you if you just write it as 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square this whole term is what is just minus 2x dy by dx i'm not writing 1 plus x square because i'm going to take this 1 plus x square on the left hand side i'm just saying 1 plus x square is in the denominator but we'll take it on the left hand side here also 1 by 1 plus x square remains this whole term becomes dy by dx that is y1 now y2 is nothing but d2 by dx2 i'm taking this denominator 1 plus x square on the left hand side so multiply cross 1 plus x square into du2 y by dx2 by dx2 is equal to is going to be plus 2x dy by dx this also goes dy by dx but it will be negative equals zero so these are the common terms y1 is common term 1 plus x square d2 y by dx2 it is y2 and d y by dx is y1 you can if you take d y by dx common only 2x minus 1 remain in the in, inside so you have y1 2x minus 1 equals zero this is the answer all right this question we are going to take in the next discussion till then thank you so much and take care of yourself